hello we are at the entrance of the Cartman Garden here in Koramangala Bangalore Cartman stands for the Center for Action Research and Technology for Man Animal and Nature if I can use the analogy of an oasis in a desert this is definitely a veritable forest in this concrete jungle I have seen it myself and I would very much like you to join me in seeing this beautiful garden filled up with so many 700 I believe varieties of amazing plants trees and shrubs flowering plants fruiting plants the Dhanvantri garden as well as the Tulasi garden the Kaveri garden and a small pond a center for children and animals I would very much like to share this beautiful garden with you so please join me now thank you Professor, I can't believe it is you here in Cartman. How are you? Apart from the sheer joy of being in this living paradise, I uh, saw the board outside the Dhanvantri Park, Eco Park. I'd like you to tell the viewers a little more about that. It is really pretty. It's supposed to be a garden city. What we want to make Bangalore to be a forest city because population has doubled or trebled, number of vehicles have gone up by 100 times. We want more oxygen and more carbon dioxide to be absorbed. And therefore, this is an educational forest park where we want to educate people to show the significance of forest in man's sustenance in this planet. Danvandri, we are saying the whole world is now looking up to Ayurveda. Apart from allopathic medicine, which has its own use, Ayurveda also has got a place. And Danvandari is a so-called deity of Ayurveda. So we have brought Danvandari Park, I mean Danvandari Garden here, containing about 60 varieties of plant uh, herbs, which are useful for man, particularly for children. So we want to propagate the significance of Ayurveda for man's health. But park as it is is concerned, we have got about 500 to 600 varieties of plant life here, fruiting trees, flowering trees, aesthetic trees, and generally decorative trees and so on. About 1,200 saplings have been planted here. This place was a barren place, not even a blade of grass was here in 1994. Is that when you started it? 1992, this was given to us by the government of Karnataka and the BBMP park also helped us to develop this park. This is called the BBMP park maintained by Cartman. And government of India has accepted this as a center for animals and environment. We have a veterinary clinic here and a shelter where we give free service to animals. Therefore, we have a veterinary clinic, we have an aquarium in order that man may develop some affinity and love for animals. As far as plant life is concerned, this is called the Cartman Park. Cartman means Center for Action, Research and Technology for Man, Animal and Nature. Man, Animal and Nature are in symbiotic relationship. So this educational park is meant for understanding the relationship between man, animal and nature. Man is dependent on, on the park or I would say forest life. Animals are also dependent on forest life. So we want to establish a relationship. We have a Tulasi garden to ensure that plant life is worshipped. We have got a Kaveri garden because water significance has to be done. We've got a so solar devices here. We've got a small pond to have aquatic creatures here. We have a Navagraha garden here. Nityananda Gari, Varabhai Gari, Saunarya Ratna Gari, Madana Purneshwari. Similarly, for plant life, Namas Tulasigalyani, Namo Deva Priya Shubhe. Then we have a Mother Earth garden. Mother Earth has to be maintained. Mother Earth has been plundered, exploited too much. That life in the planet itself may be difficult to sustain. 
and therefore we have placed they have got mother earth they are students from all parts of india bangalore come here and say bharat mata or mother earth and that kind of thing which we have in this in this park all the trees are named here so that they understand children children's education programs are conducted here they come and sit under the tree do painting and learn the names of trees and what is the significance of trees to man's sustenance in the next 3 4 years time this park will become not only a thing of beauty but also an educational device the heritage academy about 20 years now is conducting over 40 programs where about 900 participants are attending training undergoing training or giving concerts etc here we have with me madan and his wife jaya doing bharatanatyam then i have purnima also doing bharatanatyam here we have got menan who is helping me in many projects dheeraj is our public relations person kartik is in charge of modern dance and aerobics then we have kathak murari and we have see beautiful das doing painting like this we are conducting yoga meditation music dance bhajan veda parayanam and also teaching sanskrit astrology and many things connected with indian culture and philosophy and spirituality we have got a saraswati temple saraswati represents art literature culture purity of thinking in addition to this is a community center where people if they want small small marriages uh, get together functions birthday functions all such functions are also gathered here maithili is here and she has been working in this field of theater and many aspects of art and culture so in the indian heritage academy is unique in that sense that we are preserving promoting and protecting indian culture that's the purpose of this indian heritage academy and this has been land has been given to us by the karnataka government on a 30 year lease and we have been position for the last 20 years and the years to come we are planning to have much more programs on theater recording also we may be starting such programs also we have got even lectures on homeopathy lectures on ayurveda and we are lectures on philosophy so the whole gamut of what we call the indian civilization is represented in this campus you have indeed provided such a beautiful environment for pursuing our culture and you have a group of wonderful people cooperating with you i thank each and every one of them and i hope the viewers will see that several more centers like this should come up in all parts of bangalore and we should be blessed by the tradition of indian culture